Hey everyone, I am Naman and today we will be discussing problem from C of code forces round 658 div 2. So the question says that we are given two binary strings A and B of length N and we have to convert A to B in at most two N operations. So in one operation you can take a prefix of A, invert its bits and then reverse the prefix. So what that means is basically let's have an example string 01001 and let's take a prefix of length 4. So first we have to invert the bits, that means 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1. And now we have to reverse this prefix, therefore this becomes 0, sorry, this becomes 1, 1, 0 and 1. And the complete string becomes 1, 1, 0, double 1. Now let's forget this question for a second and instead of converting A directly to B, let's try to convert A to a string of all zeros and 1s. So what I mean with that is, we had a string A and now we have to convert the string A to all zeros or 1. Why the string of zeros or 1s is because if we reverse this string, the string remains the same. So basically when we have a, let's say a, we had a string of 0, 0, 0 and 1 and we had to convert this string to a string of all 1s. What we would have done is, we would have taken this prefix of length 3, we would have inverted it with that is 1, 1, 1. And now if we see, if we reverse this, this remains the same and the complete string becomes 1, 1, 1 and 1. Now, let's try to use a similar approach for a different string. So let's say we had this string. So we had 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now let's take the prefix of length 1, this prefix. Now we have to make an operation. So in the operation, we first have to invert the bit. So that makes it 1 and now we have to reverse it. Reversal of this bit is same. So therefore this becomes 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now let's take a prefix of length 2, this prefix. So first we have to invert the bits, therefore this becomes 0, 0 and the reversal of these is same. Therefore the complete string becomes 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1. Now let's do this operation for a prefix of length 3. So we have this prefix. The operation makes it as 1, 1, 1 and the rest of the string therefore 1 and 1. Now if we see we have reached the end goal. So basically what we did was an operation of length 1, operation of length 2 and an operation of length 3. So we can see we only had to make an operation when there was a difference of string from the previous one and the next one. Therefore when we had ai is not equal to ai plus 1. Now let's take this string and trace back all the operations. Let's see what we get. So we had 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1 and we made this operation of length 3. Therefore for this string. So the operation makes it as 0, 0, 0 and the rest string 1, 1. Now we had an operation of length 2. Therefore this becomes 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now we had an operation of length 1. Therefore this becomes 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And now if we look closely, this string is exactly similar to this. So what we now have to do is we have to take A convert this to a string of let's say of all 1 so we make it as 1 1 and 1 let's say there were 3 operations in 1 that were v1, v2 and v3 now let's have b and convert this to a string of all 1's so we have 1 1 1 and 1 now let's say the operations were c1, c2, c3 now if we reverse these operations we know that and apply them to all these 1's we know we'll get b Therefore, if we apply the operations in the manner v1, v2, v3, then c3, c2, c1, we would actually be converting a to b. Now, let's look at the complexity of the solution. So, for converting this a to a string of all 1s, we make at most n operations. And for converting this b to a string of all 1s, we make at most n operations. So, therefore, the total complexity becomes O of 2n, which is the desired complexity for the solution. So this is the code, first I am scanning everything and then for string a, if ai is not equal to ai minus 1, then push all those indexes to vector v and for string b, if vi is not equal to bi minus 1, then push all those indexes to vector c. Then I am reversing the vector c and then printing both the vectors. Now I have an additional condition that if the last character of a is not equal to the last character of b, then push n to v. So that we are always converting both a and b to either all zeros or ones. So that is it for this question. If you still have any doubts, feel free to message me on Code Forces. Do subscribe to the channel if you like the video.